And then everyone started showing up because the year before of COVID, there was no one there. Mm. And then this time around. Oh, you mean like fans? Yeah. Yeah, spectators. So all of a sudden, there's like thousands of people. And I think that morning it, or like overnight, it rained. And those big jumps, I was having so much fun, like trying to do like big whips and stuff on them, like having a good time. And then it rained and there was a bit of a headwind. And I remember, I think it was like second practice run. I came up a bit short on the first. Like not short onto the back of it because you just end yourself. But yeah. on the top. And it was enough to just give me such a head bang. I like destroyed my headset. Like huge gra- like um, bang. And that was my last run before I went up. Uh. And it just kind of messed with my head a bit because I was like, oh, can I get the speed? Because the takeoff was slightly soft from the rain. Yeah. There was a bit of headwind and I was like, oh, all of a sudden I've gone from being so confident to like not so confident. And I couldn't find space to like calm down because right. there were so many people so much going on yeah and I was like oh no and then so I went up I think I was just like too just, how would like, you normally find space I'm interested like what would you do what's your, what's the technique that you'd have just some time just on yourself smile, have fun. Like, yeah. obviously there's a lot more to it but yeah yeah just have fun and all of a sudden I wasn't I was like thinking too much mm. you know what I mean like I know it's only a little thing but I just couldn't stop myself from thinking about it and anyway, so I then like dropped in and I think I just went too hard and yeah, I got the first section good in my head and I was a bit, I, I remember I came around that, like the corner and I was like, okay, like calm down. Like that was too much. Because that, that rock slab at the top. Yeah. Hardest and scariest bit on the track. That's horrible, isn't it? Oh, that looks, odd. <laughs> just where you see people come in cautious and they're not cautious individuals, yeah. it's like, oh, it makes and you that think, section caught it? loads of people out that year, right? Yeah. I mean, it caught Bernard out as well, and he's yeah. racing at the end, and like yeah. a few people crashed on that slab. That's it. So, I, as I came on the first corner, I was like, okay, that's nice. And then there's a, a little drop, and then you land on the, this patch of grass just before you go into this that slabby horrendous thing <laughs> and i remember I, I hit it faster than normal which i never normally do i normally keep at the same pace from my last practice one or like a little bit faster but because i hit it faster i didn't have time to brake on the grass right. because before i could even touch the brakes my front wheel was on the rock and you can't brake on the rock yeah like you just slide yeah so i just didn't brake from like if you watch the video back back from like the first jump to hit in the corner i don't brake and so I was just, I was just like, Whoa. At this point. <laughs> I was like, wow, that was good. And then I came on the next section. That's why I thought to myself, just like, calm down. Yeah. And it's that whole thing, again, why I did a lot of coaching, because the worst thing you can do is, like, think back, not yeah, think forward. Yeah, yeah, mm. It's like, what's it called? It's like praising yourself and what you've done, like, the section before. Anyway, and that thought, as I thought that, I clipped the tree. Yeah. so it was like a millisecond of like calm down poof and i just clipped it with my little finger and it was enough just to put my front wheel on this like real slippery rock right and so it just shot me off course i i thought i was going like quite slow but you can see on the video that at that point i'm already Traveling going too on fast you, yeah. because it's quite steep mm. you just didn't realize mm. so i was like oh i could either hit those trees or i could maybe try and do like, a front flip not a front flip but i was like i <laughs> thought I, th- I thought i'd hit the deck and just like kind of stop before the drop because oh. you know you need to think you're going right, really slow yeah, you're, you're trying to slow. like hit stuff you're trying to like slow down i know i know yeah. exactly so what I you was mean a bit like, you know I, I feel like when you get to a point you know how to crash yeah. yeah it sounds odd but i was like okay i'm going down but like i don't want to hit these trees <laughs> these trees don't move. <laughs> yeah so i was like, i don't want to hit those and so i was just like i'll just aim here type thing and just hit there and i just bounced and then yeah. before you know it, i couldn't see anything and i was kind of woke up at the bottom of Pretty crazy position you're in, actually, in that crash, yeah. isn't it? It's like mm. that's sort of the stuff of nightmares where you're that out of control because you can be in a crash and actually know exactly what's going on. Even if you hit yeah. a tree, you know it's coming. You can see it. You can prep. Oh, you can know when you're no, you my no life. Not for Pro- yeah. I just knew I was falling for a long time because I don't. Know if you, have you been there in person? No. Because on video, that section looks really not small, but like it's a quick section. Mm. But it's not. It's a really long section. Like that, we drop off that rock onto that wooden structure. Like one, it's quite a big drop. But then two, that wooden bit's quite long. And then that rock slab in itself is, it's probably 15, 20 foot rock slab. Yeah. Before you hit the corner. Right. So the whole section, you can imagine, it's like 
Yeah. It's like 70 foot worth of track. Yeah. And so it's a long way to fall. And like when I walked it this year, I was like, whoa, I actually fell from there all the way down there. Like if I showed you pictures, you're like, okay, it's actually bigger than you think. Yeah. And so when I went off that drop, it was like a real calm moment of like, what's going on? <laughs> and then like, boom. Boom. Yeah. It's Those bits awesome. of hard line terrify me. Mm. That bit, the... um. And then the, actually the bit after all of the jumps, all of those sort of like, dun, 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 dun. like it's horrific. Those bits like really creep me out. The jumps, yeah. it's not that I don't think they're massive and scary. It's just that they, they are what they are, right? They're mm. just, they are this thing that you can either control and get it right or not. And following someone in, I couldn't, fo- I couldn't mm. follow someone into the rocks or the, no. <laughs> I don't know. But I don't really follow anyone into anything. Do you then not? You get, no, because then you get the wind draft. Ah. Uh, and then I wouldn't trust myself. So I'd rather just do it. It's interesting. Yeah. I love following people in. Do you? Oh, really? I yeah. hate following people at anything. Because I, I don't know why I always look at the back wheel. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do, but like with trails or dirt, you know, dirt jumps, I can't follow people. I just find that I'll, I catch them. You know well, what I mean? And I don't want, the and, they, draft, and then yeah. you'll hit the brakes and then you're like, well, now I'm not going the right speed. Like I just suck at it my Maybe crappy computer brain is weirdly right good at just that is it yeah? because uh, because i follow people and they can make a mistake and we'll be going the same speed and i can correct the what mistake. they did in front i can even even if i'm in the air someone cases you can make sure you don't case just mm. like i find that bizarre that cause, you know i'm not making any conscious decisions but it's just like little things you can do yeah i don't know just the, the calculations that are going on mad isn't it it is mad yeah but i mean what you're saying is more impressive because not having someone in front yeah. is way more calculations and mm. everyone does it in different ways. I think. Yeah. How do you do it? Well, as in, but do you know what I mean? Like, I think different people jump in different ways. Yeah. Like some people kind of squash certain things. Others, yeah, like yeah, pop, yeah. So, and I think you know yours. So I, 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 know, I felt com- like confident enough that I'm like, I don't need to follow someone. Because then that's additional risk. Like, what if they have a crash? What's your yeah. aim, guinea pigging? I'm really interested in that, actually. Like, big jump guinea pigging, I'm super interested in. What do you try and get it to the point where you're... Like, do you, would you prefer it if you were maxing out your effort? So you're pulling up and stretching to get to, to a jump, or would you prefer to overshoot a little bit to be safe to know where you're at? Do you know what I mean? I'd rather just land it nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um... Oh, that's a tricky one. I'd rather not come up short. I think that's scary. Yeah, I'd rather go too long. Mm. Yeah, most things I build, I probably go too long. The dream, the bad dreams yeah. I have are going too long. I oh, really. Yeah. Why? I like going in slower and and then forcing it over. If you have popping to. or pushing, I prefer. I prefer that because that's like to me that's like a positive thing. Mm. Whereas when you go too far, it feels like a it's like requires negative action. Like I really like it when you're like pushing for something and it feels like, and, and yeah, I have bad dreams about overshooting <laughs> stuff. I actually do have bad dreams. about. The overshoot. terrifying really? thing about what, what Josh is saying is it's like the speed element of those new ones at Hardline as well. The speed plus the size plus blind yeah. takeoff is that's the thing that the, it's like all those of factors of like getting that jump right is really fucking gnarly. The yeah. corner before, like all of it, is a lot of things to judge. Yeah. And like you say, I, I'd struggle to follow someone because I wouldn't trust them to have got all that stuff right. That's it. That's oh, the right thought of going into the back of one of those landings. Yeah. Thing. Like Chaos Seagrave did that the year before, went into the back of the second one. He did. I think he just thought he was going too fast and just yeah. squashed it and went into the back of it. But that That's the would difference give me between nightmares. a pop and a, yeah. Like that, I, I said it before, but that road gap, if you case that majorly, you're not walking away. Mm. Yeah. But at the same time, if you ever clear it, True. You're not walking away. <laughs> so, <laughs> so true. So, so is, do people often at Hardline uh, not following each other in? I yeah, think quite, you know what? Yeah, a, a few people just, just hit it. Yeah. A lot, a lot of people do train it. Yeah, a lot of people do train it. Like Bernard Kerr, like, credit where credit's true, does, he's very good. At that. Yeah. He, like, toes in a lot of people and says the speed. Wow. Did you enjoy this clip? 
If so, please like and subscribe. The full episode is available by hitting one of the links on the screen right now or type The Ride Companion into your favourite podcast app. We've even put links in the show description for you. Cheers!